to Mike Valentino from the Gold's Gym staff, to Mike Valentino from the subject. Hello, Mike. He hope as well. Quick note, a quick heads up. There's a guy with special needs that who works at the gym, cleans the exercise equipment, treadmills, etc. Throughout the day, there's a guy named Michael. As I work out and always keep my eye on him, then he tends to clean the machines near me. Anyway, then over the past several months, Michael's behavior has gotten more and more aggressive as in the outburst. We currently uh, see him walking to behind the treadmills. He kicked the machine and broke it when there's an old lady 65 and over was walking on it and causing her slightly tripped. He kicked abundant bicycles, ordering pizzas magazines on his cell phone, stealing things out of the office, throw buckets of water, scream and cuss, hit his head and broke a window. Today, Michael was cleaning the treadmill next to me. He would start beating on the television screen. After that, he pulled the control cable between the television screen and keypad and sliced it in two, and he turned that machine off, and he got the out-of-order sign for it. And he turned it off to ease it up. He told me he didn't do it. It broke since he was cleaning it. He went outside by his own business, and I told your brother Pat about the wire when I was leaving. I am concerned Michael is doing bad things in his future. By Pat Valentino and Bruce Kirkman, mailed in 2008. Punch holes in the walls. I'm someone to hit people at the gym. North Carolina Division of Vocational Rehab Office, Department of Health and Human Services, Progress of You, this report of progress towards going to work. Michael, I received a phone call yesterday from a job coaching coach. Tiffany Rudd started it. He had been terminated from the employer, Gold's Gym. The termination was due to inappropriate behavior. They had been displayed on the shoplifting camera when you were at work. On Zevil's options, he was responsible for wiping down and cleaning the exercise machines. When observed by management becoming aggressive by doing so. He also became upset when you were at work and damaged the television. The managers at Gold's Gym also said that during this time. He pushed or tampered with the treadmill and broke it when it was then used by an elderly lady and this caused the trip and break a leg on the machine. However, she decided not to report the matter to Greg Carter or the police. Michael on the options with scout buses being late. You have been so hit yourself in the head on the floor, act up inappropriately because of this behavior. He has lead to termination from Gold's Gym. On the privileged jobs, you have displayed inappropriate behavior and has lead to termination from the company. Tiffany Rudd has worked hard with Sister Martin inappropriate behavior. When you're at work, did child development, test, and training. Michael, this is important that you understand that for location appointment. At this time, it will be put your case on hold. During this time, you need to get in touch with your mental health advisor so it's possible to schedule time for therapy to discuss your behaviors and interactions with others before we begin job development again. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at 336-315-2016. Signly, Deanna Edward. Deanna Edward, Cancer Center, Mountain 2008. Record time, 3.26 p.m. Kitty cat number. A long time ago, Dorothy Holloway took me to the doctor because my behavior was unacceptable. Put me on medication. I had behavior problems before. Girls magazines, going in the kitchen without permission, getting upset, using bad words, talking about to the staff of spit at staff. Middle finger. Had to put me on medication. When Michael Fag goes to the day program, he carries tote bags. He likes to pick up all these girls magazines and being sneaky. When Michael Fag goes to the day program, he's not carrying no more tote bags. But now just carries his lunchbox. Lunchbox only. Yep, where are you getting those girls magazines from? The day program. Yep. And Dorothy took me to the doctor. My behavior was was unacceptable. It put me on medication. And that time I spilled water on the floor. It made Dorothy mad. When you be on medication, you don't know everything. I'm sorry for yelling at you, cussing at you. My nerves just tore up all the pieces. Being in this group home 15 years. And that time. Yep, getting those girls' magazines from the day program. I got fired, lost my job at Harris Teeter and Gold's Gym. They had to put me on medication. You don't know everything. Yep. Dorothy put me on medication. Yep. I was rude to my sister Vicky. She stopped coming to see me. My sister Vicky picked me up once a month, just like Vicky went out with his daddy once a month. And normally used to work here. Check my sister Vicky out. I was so rude to her, screaming hollow in her face. Hurt her feelings. Never apologized to her. Never say I'm sorry. My sister Vicky needs to call Greg Hall. I want to get put out of the school home. I did not get put out. Just let it go. I was rude to my sister Vicky. And she stopped coming to see me.